So uh, when I start dating a girl, I like to like roll out the red carpet. You know, I like her to think like every time you're with me is gonna be something special. And uh, I was dating this girl in college. We'd gone out a few times, but now we're going out to dinner. You know, and uh, between you and me, I'm a little bit of a foodie. I'm not bragging. I just I like nice things. I do. I like taking beautiful girls to fancy restaurants. You know, and uh, <laughs> that's not a joke. That's for real. <laughs> and uh, so. I took her up to TGI Fridays. I don't know if you guys know that spot <laughs> at all. Some of you know it, yeah. Real nice. Uh, so I take her up there, and the place is dead. Like, we are literally the only patrons in there. And uh, so we're standing there at the door, waiting to be seated, and I'm trying to find anyone that works there. The place is, like, desolate. Finally, like, all the way across, I see a bartender and a server, and the server's, like, leaning on the bar, talking to the bartender. And so I give him the old, uh, ahem, <clears throat> like, real loud. And he turns around and he goes, yeah, wherever. <laughs> I was like, damn, you're not even going to put us down somewhere? So I lead her down to the bar. I said, we should probably sit in this guy's eye line because I have a feeling like he could lose us real easily. <laughs> so we sit down, and I'm sitting across from her, and I'm looking at her, and I'm like, uh, hey, you look real nice tonight. Look at you. You got your, your hair all bouncing. That's nice. Is that Pantene? You know, I know how to talk to women. <laughs> Don't worry. And uh, <laughs> but as I'm sitting there, I'm like kicking game on her. I look over and the bartender and the server are still just talking like he has made no effort to come over to us. And he's like leaning on the bar and then he looks over at me and he goes, yeah, one minute. <laughs> and then goes back and talks to his buddy. And I was like, dude, for real? Like we're sitting here. So finally he comes over and he goes, uh, hey, what's up? I'm like, what's up? That's not much of a, I mean, I don't like like the over enthusiastic server. The guy's like, hey, welcome to Fridays. Have you been here before? Hey, well, welcome back. That shit's a lot, you know, but I was like a little bit more than like, what's up? And uh, he goes, uh, so you guys know what you want. And I said, do we, we don't have any menus, man. And then he goes, oh shit. <laughs> oh shit, to the, to the customers. He reads, reaches over to the other booth, he pulls out a couple menus, he goes, I'll give you all a few minutes. And I went, whoa, whoa, whoa. I said, why don't we get our drink orders in real quick? Because I have a feeling like you could be gone for 45 minutes before I, it's like a, like a dog. You got to watch them at all times as they wander off. And so, uh, so my girl orders a Dr. Pepper, and then I order a Sprite. And he goes, oh, we only have Pepsi products. Is Mountain Dew okay? <laughs> I said, as a substitute for Sprite? Not really. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm familiar with the concept that for every Coke product, there's that degenerate, like, cousin in the Pepsi family. Like, I get that. <laughs> but, like, Mountain Dew isn't it. I was like, you don't have something, like, clear, like a slice or a 7-Up or something? And he goes, we might have Sierra Mist, I'll check. So he goes, and uh, I see my girl, she's looking over the menu, and I say, you know, real quick, if I could make a suggestion to you, I would say get the uh, Jack Daniels bacon cheeseburger, because they put the Jack Daniels barbecue sauce in there. It's a little bit sweet, but it's also a little bit stingy. I think you could relate. <laughs> you guys are laughing at all the spots that aren't jokes. Like, <laughs> So money comes back, he's got two sodas, he gives her a Dr. Pepper, hands me a glass full of black soda. I said, what happened, <laughs> what happened to the mist? He goes, oh, we didn't have that, I got you a root beer instead. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not like real good at like arguing with people, so I was like, all right, I'm not kind of like root beer, I guess. So, and I kind of resigned to the idea that I'm not gonna make a fuss anymore, I'm just gonna get through this meal, because it's not going well. So I see she puts in the order for the uh, Jack Daniels bacon cheeseburger because our relationship is built on trust and <laughs> love and laughter and nice things, you know. And, uh, and I said, uh, and I'm going to have, and I noticed he's not writing it down, and I got nervous. And I was like, I'm going to get the Jack Daniels chicken strips. Evidently, there was a partnership between Jack Daniels and Fridays at the time. <laughs> and so he goes, okay, I got it. And he walks away. And now I'm looking at my girl again, and I'm like, hmm. I was just thinking about you and me just now. I kind of like it. And as I'm kicking game again, he's standing right here. And I went, whoa, what's up, man? He goes, I'm sorry, you said the Jack Daniels chicken club sandwich? And I was like, when have you ever had a chicken club sandwich with barbecue sauce? I was like, no. And then it just, it was a straw that like broke my back. And I said, I'm not tipping this dude. I have never in my entire life gone to a restaurant and left zero dollars, but I made a decision. I said, I'm not going to do it. And I said, all I have to do really is just clear this with the girl because I don't want her to feel like hoodwinked when we get there. But like, other than that, I'm just going to play cool, 
go through the meal. And I looked at him. I said, no. I said, the Jack Daniel chicken strip. And he was like, OK, cool. Coming right up. And he walked away. And I looked at the girl. And she goes, so you were saying you were thinking about us? And I said, no. I, yeah, I mean, no. I'm, I'm thinking about not tipping this dude. <laughs> and her jaw drops. And she goes, well, you got to tip him. I said, nah, actually, you don't have to tip him. I was like, I mean, I'm supposed to. But he was supposed to do a bunch of stuff, too. And he didn't do any of it. <laughs> right? And she goes, well, Mike, I wait tables. It's hard work. I said, yeah, waiting tables is really hard work. I said, waiting one table, though? Not that fucking hard. I was like, he's missed every single cue so far. Suddenly, he comes back, and uh, he's got our food. And I'm like, oh, OK, good, man. And he says, can I get you anything else? I said, yeah, just, uh, I was like, let me get another root beer and a check. And he goes, oh, well, the root beers aren't free refills. They're like come out of a bottle from the bar. And I was like, well, I wish you would have told me that before I didn't order it. Jeez. Yeah? And he goes, but you want the check now? I said, yeah, just bring the check right now. And I can see the girl's like, oh, he's not tipping. I was like, that's right, I'm not tipping. So he goes and he gets the check. I put my credit card in there right away. I'm letting her eat the burger. I can't touch the club sandwich. I have nothing to do with that. No, there's no such thing as a club sandwich with a barbecue sauce. So he comes in, and now I'm like, let's just play it cool. And he keeps standing there waiting. I'm like, all right, just go, man, go. And as soon as he goes, I write a bunch of zeros down there, and I close it up. And I said, you ready to go? And she goes, I guess. I said, let's go. So we rush out, and as I got outside, I never felt so alive in all my life. I was like, holy cow, I took the power back. It was amazing. We're walking down the street, and she's not saying a word to me. And I was like, and I kind of didn't even care. I was just like, yes, they're like, I won. So we get about four blocks, and she goes, uh, you didn't tip him, did you? And I said, not a hay penny, nothing, not, not, a, not a cent. And she goes, well, I guess this is as good a time as any to tell you that you left your backpack in there. <laughs> I said, damn, you cold as shit. I had to walk, I had to walk another four blocks back to Friday as I walk in there. For the, he finally bust our table. I guess that was the one thing he did quickly. Uh, so I went up to him at the bar and I said, hey, man, uh, <laughs> did I happen to leave my backpack here? And he goes, yeah, that's about all you left. And I was like, OK, well, that's cool. And he goes, you know what, do me a favor. Next time you come in here, just give me a heads up. I'll find somebody else to serve you. And I was like, oh, all right. I said, hey, man, I just, I don't, I don't want you to think that, like, I'm actually ever going to come back here. Just by the way, like, dude, this place is a dump. Fuck you. So I got my backpack, and I walked out. And I'll tell you what, I haven't been back in that place ever since. And now, you know what, if I have to go out and take a girl out to a nice place, I'll, like, I man up, take her to Olive Garden. Thank you. <laughs>